Good morning, this is Rick Gray. I wanted to talk today about just some basic economic principles when it comes to value and the marketplace. You know, your value as an individual, what you earn. I talked a couple of days ago here about your income earning ability. That is something that you need to think about and do you have a financial thermometer that's kind of a set point. You expect to make a certain amount of money and you'll do whatever you can to make that specific amount, but when it goes over that, then you kind of back off a little bit. So let's talk about how you get paid. You get paid for bringing value to the marketplace through your job, for example. Uh, you could be a business owner, you could be an entrepreneur, you could be a salesperson, you could be an employee. Whatever it is, you get paid for bringing value. You don't get paid for time. A lot of people think, well, I make $10 an hour, I make $20 an hour. That's just not true. You don't get paid for the hour you get paid for the value you put in the hour. So all this debate on whether we should raise the minimum wage or whether you know small businesses should pay people more is ridiculous because you get paid for value, right? The value starts at, you know, whatever minimum wage is, I don't know, eight or nine dollars an hour, and it goes up from there. You know, incomes, there's people that make a hundred million dollars a year. There's people that make two hundred million dollars a year. Why would somebody make that much money? they are valuable in the marketplace. Not valuable as a person, but valuable to the market. So how do you get paid more money? It's pretty simple, right? Become more valuable. There's two things you can work on. You can work hard on your job, which is noble, and you can work hard on yourself, which is exciting. Right? You can have both noble and exciting. The way you get a raise is not to ask for a raise. The way you get a raise is to become more valuable to the company. Become more valuable to the marketplace. Increase your skills. In fact, it's one great philosophy to take home is always do a little bit more than you're paid for as an investment in your future. Right? Your own personal philosophy will be the major determining factor on how your life works out. If your philosophy is, I'm just going to work hard enough to get my paycheck and go home, you're never going to be wealthy and you're never going to be financially ahead. If your philosophy is, I'm going to do more than I get paid for as an investment in my future and I'm going to work on myself and increase my skill level so I become more valuable to the marketplace, then you'll make more money. That's how the world works. You know, this is a ladder to climb. It's not a bed. <laughs> we shouldn't be debating over how much is minimum wage. Who cares? What we should be talking about is how are you going to work on yourself and make yourself more valuable to the marketplace? That philosophy will get you ahead in life. So start keeping a journal, writing these things down, and go to work on yourself, not just your job. Remember, you can have both noble and exciting. Have a great day.